Well, Heidi Ho, my peeps. Grant is going to make me some spice racks to go on the side of my refrigerator. He already made this one. Let me show you this. Um, he put a, let's see, you can see the top of my dirty refrigerator, I haven't washed it. Put an angle iron at the top along with a um, piece of that uh, magnet. And um, so this uh, thing is hanging very securely um, on the side of the, on the side of the refrigerator, and this thing is a Canada Dry uh, soda crate. Now, next to it, sitting directly on the counter, but back in, in this space, will be a, um, I gotta turn my little thingy around so I don't fall, okay, will be this Coca-Cola cabinet that I've had forever. And he's going to put a couple of shelves in there, and I will be able to arrange uh, these sizes of spice in there. I'm really super excited because I went online on a, to Amazon and to eBay trying to find, um, yeah. There you go. So that's how those work. Anyhow, trying to find uh, magnetic shelves that I could stick on the side of this refrigerator. I found them, but they were freaking expensive. If I, I mean, you can easily spend thirty or forty dollars on a magnetic spice rack, and I thought, you know what? Number one, it's too expensive, and number two, the dang thing, it. it it had no style. I mean, they have no style, right? And so I was sitting here in my kitchen doing something and I happened to glance down and I noticed that I've got, I had all of these um, soda container things down here. I had about five or six of them stacked up and I thought, you know what? That is the perfect solution for my spice rack problem. So. Anyway, Grant, it's a beautiful day, and Grant doesn't have anything else to do, so he's going to go ahead and finish up my spikes racks, and I will come back and show you the finished product. And here is the finished product. Salt, pepper, and coconut oil are on the top shelf. Use those every day. And then down here I have my smaller spices that I use frequently, and I'm going to back up a little bit let you see the kind of the whole effect. See, now that's where I'm going. That's where I'm headed with my kitchen. I want it to be, you know, funky old-fashioned like that. Now, show you something else. Completely clean that and organized, cleaned and organized, but look what I've done up here. These, these shelves have been redone just with, you know, um, what do you call that? This little um, collectible china things that I've been collecting my entire life. So that is sort of where I'm headed with the decor in the kitchen. I still have to fix the ceiling, change the crown molding to something decent. I think I'm going to put wallpaper up in those sections up there, something very old fashioned. I'm going to paint the inside of those and I'm going to put lighting in there. I'm going to paint it kind of a rose color. So this room is going to be kind of an ivory, rose, and green. That's the color scheme that I'm, that I'm going for. So anyhow, anyhow, this is where I'm headed and I just wanted to give you guys a little kitchen update and I will talk to you later. Bye!